Ambrose to round up uh, some of the latest action on TalkSport with Carling. And, of course, the action centres on that game between the Welsh and Iran. It's a horrible result for the Welsh, a horrible moment for the Welsh. They lost 2-0. Simon's with me. So, too, is Gabby Abonlahor and Alex Crook. Gabby, give, it, give me your take on that. I mean, it's, it's a shocker, isn't it? Shocking from Wales, but a lot of credit to Iran. You know, Iran are a good team. Alex Crook told me before the World Cup kicked off. There are no mugs. Today they showed that deserved to get the three points against Wales. And Wales didn't turn up. Kiefer Moore didn't turn up. But he likes to speak about how he wants to knock England out. But don't show it on the pitch. Gareth Bale was poor again today. Didn't turn up. Him and Ramsey were both... Um, didn't, didn't even get on the ball. Didn't want to try and take anyone on. So poor from Wales and... All the best trying to get a result against that England squad of players. Do you think, Alex, the Welsh have blown it now? Yeah, they're out. I mean, let's be honest. Gareth Southgate can make 11 changes and England's B team would beat Wales. They were so poor today. Lacking energy, lacking ideas, lacking invention, lacking heart, lacking desire. And in Gareth Bell and Aaron Ramsey, they had two fading great former players. They were carrying two passengers. You can't afford to do that in a World Cup. I mean, Simon, this is going to sound cruel. Oh, straight off the back of a result like that. But have we our answer now to the busted flush question about Gareth Bale? Yeah, I think so. Um, I, I don't think he was particularly potent or, or influential besides the penalty in the game against the USA. And I think we saw what we needed to see in that game. And of course, you're always hoping, and certainly if you're Welsh, that there will be something from him. But what you saw today was a very, very poor Welsh performance. You know, the Iranians, there, um, a lot's been made about the Iranians were perhaps with the backdrop of what's going on in their country and the fact they weren't seemingly engaged in the national anthem and they've had a, apparently some very strong liveners from their government about how they should behave and what they should be doing and singing national anthem starts with them being committed to their playing for their country and you might have seen a more energetic performance but the Iranians were poor against England and they were made to look far more significant by Wales because Wales were so poor mm. and you can dress it up and you can sugarcoat it however you want and we can turn it into you know Aaron Ramsey posing as Eminem with his new bleached <laughs> hairstyle um, and you can look at the reality of what Wales offered and there was a seemingly no solution to Iran, uh, to Iran's yeah. challenges they advanced. Jimmy, it looked like Gareth Bale was saving himself. When I'm watching him, I'm thinking, we, we asked him, we saw him during the game, is, is he playing? You know, he didn't see him for like 10, 15 minutes, touched the ball, and you're thinking, is he, is he carrying something? Is he scared of getting injured? But so Gabby, why though? Why? Wales are better than this. I don't, They're I, better I, than what they've shown and here. And what they showed in the second half against them in the USA, it was promising, wasn't it? But to watch them tonight, to go, uh, they're out now, and to go out like this... It's shameful, really. I mean, to come up so short on this massive stage over here is, is nothing short of a disaster for them, is it not, Alex? Well, I'm not sure they are much better than this, to be honest. Um, I got hammered when the draw was made. People in Wales weren't happy when I said that England should cruise through this group. I said, this isn't the Wales team that got to the later stages of the European Championships. They've got their ageing stars. I'm not sure they are good. I mean, listen, they've got players from League One out on the pitch in this World Cup. So I, I, I'm not sure what we expected from but Wales, to be But should they be losing to Iran? That's a bottom line question. Well, Iran are a top 20 team. And I did say to Gabby, and, and actually gave me a bit of stick after the England game, that they aren't any pushover. They yeah, were a pushover against England. Yeah, but they came off the, the back England. of a 6-2 thrashing by England. There was always going to be a reaction to that. Always going to be a reaction. But does that show how good England are? I'm not sure what it also tells you about the USA. Because ultimately the Welsh um, gave the USA a torrid time in the second half. Um, and they, the U.S. didn't have much to come back with. So if that, that you know, we're looking at benchmarks in, this, in the opening games and the second game. We're saying the U.S. are coming into this game with an inherent belief they can beat us, which is great because it, you know, you don't want them coming in being defeated in their mentality. But I very much doubt that's going to be the case. You know, I'm, I'm not in the camp. Never have been. I couldn't care less if Scotland qualify for a World Cup. I couldn't care less if Wales qualify for a World Cup. That's so nice I, of you. I have no more investment in Wales winning a game than I have but in Iran. Time, but a time like this to say something like that is. Poor assignment. Well, why is it poor? I mean, uh, the bottom line is you could look at it and say, objectively, I couldn't care less about it. Why would I care any more about Wells than I would about any other side but winning the group? But why wouldn't you? I mean, well, why let, would I? Let, let's not dance in, in the graves this afternoon. The, in, Wales in have the, found things tough well, over here. in the same way that, you know, the Welsh sat there having a little sing-song when we got knocked out by Iceland. Come I think on. what goes around comes around, That's isn't it? That's nitpicking. 
No, that's it's, it's, a, it's a matter yeah, of fact. Still holding but, on to and, that. And, and, we, but, and, and the quicker we can get rid of that virtue signaling nitwit Mark Drakeford back <laughs> to, uh, to <laughs> Wales, the happy I'll be. That's over the top. And you're bringing politics into the sporting arena. Well, I'm not. I'm just saying I would rather he wasn't here. But Jim, G Jim when you w got... Wales need, a, uh, Wales need a miracle in the desert. Are they going to get it? Not can, a chance. Can it but, but, well, how can you no have chance. players before the World Cup like Keith Moore saying, I can't wait to knock England out. Sorber Thomas, we don't fear England. Why can't we be the ones to knock them out? Players shouldn't talk like that before a tournament. You concentrate on playing, and now they've got the medicine. Sure, and England will give them, them, a, England will give them a good beating that. next week, and they'll be out. Do you expect England to give them a good beating? Yeah, absolutely. I expect England to give the USA a, a good beating. I expect England to win every game, and I expect them to win every game comfortably. This Welsh side is not very good. I mean, anyone listening at the moment who's not English thinks, yeah, I'm listening to a bit of English arrogance this afternoon. I've got to tell you, I mean, to be having a swipe at the Welsh at a time like this is unfair and inappropriate. But why is it they've a swipe? Given it's, it, it's a statement given of fact. everything, and they were down to 10 men. I know, but we can get into this Celtish nonsense, right? Or we can get into the sentiment being trumped by fact. Celtish. Right? Or Celt, whatever. You Celts together in some shape or form. <laughs> but the bottom line <laughs> is, is that you get into a scenario where we're looking at it through, through a set of eyes that Wales came to this tournament to make an impression. They've made an impression. It's a bad one. See you at home. You've got also, Jim, you've got Robbie Savage saying after the England game, it's only Iran. What are England so um, buzzing about? If it's only Iran. How come Wales couldn't beat them? Mm. Well, Simon said that as well. Did you, Simon? What? That it's only Iran. <laughs> yeah. Which I, what, I mean, you know, I, I, didn't, I didn't say that it was a given that Welsh should beat Iran, but it is only Iran. They're not a particularly formidable top 20 side. In well, the, in, come in on, the look at the, on, on the basis of what and who have they played recently to get a top 20 ranking? You know, you've got to look at the reality of what you're competing against. The Welsh, I think, in true, in fairness, with all objectivity, I think the Welsh are slightly better than the performance they put on today. I don't know why they didn't change. I didn't, you know, you could see the game getting away from them. You could see that everything was in transition. I don't know why they didn't go from back to front quicker with Kiefer Moore and play off him and give do themselves you, an opportunity to get high up the pitch. But they didn't. Didn't do you get think, enough balls do you think in the having, box. Yeah, do you think having two passengers like Bale and Ramsey maybe sort of drop one of them, play the Dan James on the wing? Well, well, some, get get some passengers. I mean, Dan they James was bloody useless when he came on anyway, wasn't he? Yeah. Okay. Let's be honest mm. about it.